Hey, what's going on? Majin Khan here, people. So, in this video, I will be showing you guys a quick and easy way to defeat Virgil in this boss fight. Virgil is pretty good when it comes to teleporting and when it comes to range attacks. So, one of the biggest hints I can say to defeat Virgil is use the Arbiter weapon. So, before you go into this mission, you may want to upgrade the Arbiter weapon as much as you can. Also, you may want to buy a gold orb. This is Nephilim difficulty, so whenever you get close to the part when uh, Virgil is summoning his doppelganger clone ghost looking thing, you're probably going to need a gold orb because chances are you will die. Also a few other hints is use ebony and ivory to keep Virgil at bay. Although these weapons won't affect him at all, you can use these weapons to your advantage to get closer to him to strike him with the Arbiter. Also, use Devil Trigger as much as you possibly can. That way you can take off more of his health. Alright, uh, that's it for this hint video. And please enjoy, rate, and give me feedback as much as you can. Thank you guys. They're like children. They need protection. Not just from others, but from themselves. We, you and I have saved them. You and I saved them? Who else? A human. Cat was useful, but... Useful? Cat saved my life. Cat held out under torture to keep your existence a secret. Cat led us through the tower to Mundus' lair. We would have failed 20 times over if it weren't for her. Listen. If you can't see the chaos that humans will cause, if you don't want the responsibility of protecting them, then stand aside. I'll rule alone. I didn't help you destroy Mundus so that you could take his place. I can't let you do this, Virgil. And I can't let you stop me, brother. Stand aside. Don't do this. Virgil, please. Stay out of this!
not too late. Yes, it is. is under my protection now. You've chosen the wrong side. You're not human, Dante. You never will be. <laughs> 